This math problem says Sally has been saving her money. In January, she saved $27. In February, she saved another $17. And in March, she saved another $10. How many dollars has Sally saved total? So we're looking for how much money she saved in all. I'm going to use some counters to help me solve this problem. At the top, I have 27 counters to represent January. In the middle, I have 17 for February. And at the bottom, I have a 10 counter to represent March. So what I know is I'm looking for the total of all of these counters right here. Now I see that I have a lot of ones counters all over the place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to form a group of 10. I'll just choose these ones here. And that way I could take all those ones out and change them into a 10 counter, which will be easier to count for me. Since 10 ones is equal to 110, I'm just going to replace it. And now it will be easier for me to count the total. I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Notice how I counted all my tens first. 51, 52, 53, 54. So far, Sally has saved a total of $54.